I am Yusha Evans, a former Christian youth minister who converted to Islam about 12 years ago in 1998 after an intense study of the Bible led me to realize the contradiction and inconsistencies not only of the text uh, but of the message and which led me to search other faiths <clears throat> and finally come to the beauty of Islam. Why am I here and what does God want from me? This again is a fundamental question that each and every human being asks themselves at some point in their life to ask themselves why am I here what does God want from me what is the purpose of creation what is the purpose of life what is the purpose of anything that happens in life does it have a purpose so first and foremost we have to ask why are we here why is anything here why did God create anything and we know for sure that the Islamic principle is that God created everything with a purpose. This is a principle found in many religions. This is a principle that is found in the Christian faith uh, that I once held dear to. And the principle of Islam is that God does not create anything without it having a divine purpose. From the greatest of his creations to the most minute of his creations all serve a divine and unique purpose. And we as Muslims affirm this. Now when it comes to the Creator, He chose to create creation for a specific reason. And in a nutshell, that specific reason is to worship Him. And He says in His book, the Qur'an, that I did not create mankind except but that they should worship Me. And again, the Creator created us not in need of the creation. He needed nothing. He did not need uh, to create creation because he was lonely. He created creation just for the reason that he had the right to do so. God Almighty, in his gloriousness, had the right to create things that are so beautiful and so uh, um, wonderful that they magnify at who he is. And his creation, the human being, was created and then given a free will and given the opportunity to choose whether to live their life in accordance to their creation, to worship God, or to reject their purpose of creation and to worship everything else that they can imagine, including themselves. But the most beautiful thing about Islam that I found initially is that the mind of a Muslim, the thought process of a Muslim, is that when I look at the creation, I see in the creation a reflection of the majesty of the Creator. When I look at the, the sun and the moon and the stars and the planets and the universe, and when I look at the beautiful creation that is around us here in this world, the only thing that comes to my mind is the greatness of the one who created it. And this is the purpose of all of this creation, is that it is a reflection of the majesty of the Creator. It symbolizes and shows to us the beauty of God's creation and the majesty of who He is as the Creator. And this is something that re reaffirms itself the more and more that we look. And this is something that God says in the Quran, have you not looked at the, the world around you and the universe around you? And have you not taken a look at even at your own creation to recognize who I am? And this is an underlying principle of Islam is that God created creation for His glorification and that the best of that creation are human beings who can decide either to live according to that creation and worship their Creator or they can decide to reject that purpose and worship something else. But one of these choices leads to eternal pleasure and God's reward and heaven and paradise forever and one of these choices leads to God's anger leads to God's punishment, leads to us denying the very purpose of our creation, and leads to the punishment that is deserving upon those who reject Him. So this is the fundamental principle of Islam, that why did God, or why am I here? Because God created me. And what does God want from me? He wants from me His worship. He wants from me to worship Him and to recognize the majesty of His creation to recognize the, the beautifulness of God's creation, to recognize my gratefulness that I have before the Creator who created me and everything that He gives me. 
the air that he's given me to breathe, the water he's given me to drink, the beautiful things he has given me to to continue my existence here on this planet all come from the glory and the magnificence of the God who created it and therefore I am most humbly in need of giving him the gratitude and the worship that he deserves and this is the Islamist perspective on why am I here and why did God create me and what does he want from me thank you very much for your time